what is your take on the uh, on today's market? Uh, I, I don't like the word shifting market. I would like to say, you know, there are lots of opportunities. And you are in two completely different markets, I, I would say, between uh, San Francisco and Los Angeles and New York City. Uh, all three of them are extremely expensive, so <laughs> that, they, they have that in common. <laughs> but um, where, is it, where is it going? And what's your expectations? You're totally right. When people ask me, how's the market? The answer is always, which market? Mm -hmm. um, because they're different city to city and within cities, they're different in terms of different price brackets. We're si it's a tale of many different markets right now. Um, you know, interest rates were at a 5,000 year low uh, when, you know, when we were in 2021 and they were in the, in the mid twos. Mm -hmm. They've gone from that to still being extremely low. Mm -hmm. um, you know, a lot of headlines even today about mortgages at 6%. That, that's for a conforming 30 year mortgage. It, you know, there are lots of, 10-year interest-only adjustable rate mortgages being issued right now uh, in the 4% range. So it's still a really good time for buyers. And in fact, this might be the last good quarter for buyers because I think the activity is going to really pick up uh, in the second kind of middle to second half of this year. Oh. Um, we've seen an unprecedented shift in the velocity of change for interest rates from uh, October, November. And you know, it, in many ways, um, the Federal Reserve's strategy right now is to create that shock into the market. Um, so we know that's the strategy, uh, but we also know that's not going to be the forever strategy. Uh, and so, you know, the, the the expectations between buyers and sellers are still in a bit of a, of a dance. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that they're going to be able to dance together uh, in the near future. And that's going to be a really good time for agents that spend this time to really instrument their business mm -hmm. so that when they do get busy again, they're able to, to, to kind of get in front of it. What's in common between California markets and uh, both of you, like you are North and South, and us here in New York? Uh, well, it's funny, you know, now they opened uh, a, a Jolina in New York, which is my favorite restaurant in LA. And so uh, what do they have in common now? All the same restaurants, apparently. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and, and maybe maybe there's going to be some more California culture in New York. You know, we're, we are the only brokerage in New York City that uh, started in California, which I think is really cool. And, and I think we bring some of that innov innovative mindset and, and kind of uh, being curious and, and saying yes to things, uh, which the, the New York market really needs. Mm -hmm. um, what are the differences? You know, they're, they're all luxury markets. They have very smart and discerning clients that want really good agents. Uh, and so I think we've been able to grow faster than any brokerage ever has. And certainly uh, the only one, uh, sort of virtual uh, model that's been able to succeed in the most competitive premium markets. Mm -hmm. And what that allows us to do, I think, is when we do enter new markets, we have that uh, in our kind of roots. It's very hard to go the other way. If you don't start in luxury markets and then try to enter luxury markets, the perception amongst agents uh, is going to be very, very different. Um, there are differences in the commission structures. There are differences in the closing process. You know, for example, uh, in New York, it's all kind of lawyer managed during closing, mm -hmm. whereas in California, that transaction management, transaction coordination process is really important and, and, and time intensive. Um, but, you know, and, 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 and the product or, that they're selling is obviously very different, right? right? I mean, apartments, co-ops versus a lot of single family homes and you know, mansions, right? So, um, but, but actually it's not fundamentally different. Uh, they all have very similar wants and needs. They all have fairly similar workflows when it comes to marketing, when it comes to data comps, um, you know, photography, staging. Those are all actually relatively similar and, and their clients all want the same thing. The buyers want the house they want for the best price and the sellers want the, the, <laughs> the, the best price, right? And so, I, I think that's what is very encouraging about our model is that I think it is very portable, uh, but we, we don't want to dilute ourselves too quickly. And so really, we're excited to continue to focus in California and New York for the rest of this year. So you're just building the foundation. You are learning uh, about differ differences and how you can adapt it in Miami, for example, and, uh, and how you can move forward. But, but right now, it's all about focusing on the foundation. And I think that that's a great decision. I think as a company that is also building software, it's the worst thing that you can do is, is design and build something for a specific uh, persona or, demo or, or mm -hmm. demographic or market. 
Um, and so part of what's been valuable of expanding the company to New York is learning some of the nuances and differences so that when we do build technology, um, we have that type of scalability in mind.